Hi guys, welcome to Electric Radiators Direct, the home of electric heating. In this video, heat pumps and electric heating are going head to head as two viable contenders to replace gas central heating. I'll be comparing efficiency, balancing the benefits, and looking at all the costs that go into installing and running them. But before I get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell for more electric heating content. First up, heat pumps. The UK government is hailing them as the next best thing for home heating and a viable way to help the country reach its net zero targets. But what are they exactly and how do they work? Let's do a quick rundown. Air source heat pumps convert outside air into heat via a unit that's installed to an external wall of your property. Air to water can be used for heating water as well as your home. However, as the heat they produce is cooler than that of your average gas boiler, you may need to install larger radiators or underfloor heating to ensure your home maintains a comfortable temperature. Air to air heat pumps don't heat water, but they can be used as an air conditioning unit. This is super handy since these summers just keep getting warmer. And finally, ground source heat pumps use a network of pipes that are buried in your garden to extract solar energy from the ground. These pipes contain a refrigerant fluid which heats up, passes through a heat pump and is delivered to your radiators and water heaters. Now you're going to need a lot of space for those pipes. A large garden is a must with installers recommending at least 600 square meters of land to work with. So if you live in a flat or a small terrace house, you probably won't have the means to install a ground source heat pump. You'll also need to make room for the indoor heat pump. This is roughly the size of a fridge freezer and it will make a low hum while it's in operation. So it's best to avoid installing it near noise sensitive areas. Long story short, if you're limited for space, this type of heat pump is not going to work for you. So what is it about heat pumps that has the government recommending them? Well, they're undeniably efficient simply because they can produce more heat than the electricity it takes to operate them. However, there are two major caveats when it comes to efficiency, the time of year and how well insulated your property is. Air source heat pumps are naturally going to use more electricity during winter since the air they're converting is colder. Ground source heat pumps win out in this regard since the ground stays the same temperature throughout the year. Secondly, it's vital your home is well insulated if you want to maximise on efficiency. If not, you'll be waving goodbye to any potential energy savings. With the cost and complexity of installation, you don't want to risk having to invest in retrofitting your home on top of it. Now let's talk about another low carbon alternative, electric heating. Electric heating is any system that uses electricity as its main energy source. There are a range of options available, but let's look at two in particular electric radiators and infrared panels. Electric radiators are similar to their gas counterparts. By using a combination of convection and radiation, temperatures can be reached quickly and maintained long after the units stop drawing power. Instead of relying on a centralized boiler system, electric radiators work as modular standalone units. This means they can be programmed on a room by room basis for improved efficiency. As for infrared panels, these slimline heaters mount on a wall or ceiling and convert 100% of electricity into radiant warmth. This type of heat completely bypasses airflow and instead delivers warmth through waves heating surfaces directly. This results in a far more natural and resilient type of warmth that's one of the most efficient on the market. If you want to learn more about the wonders of infrared, then be sure to check out our other videos on this topic. A major benefit of electric heating is that it's 100% efficient at point of use. There are no system losses as every unit of electricity is converted into usable heat. Plus, electric heaters are better suited to dealing with drafty or otherwise poorly insulated spaces. This is especially the case for infrared panels as their warmth isn't affected by air movement, so it isn't lost easily. They can be placed strategically to heat specific areas of your home, like a seating area or workstation. That way, if you have a large space or struggle to maintain temperatures, infrared can focus purely on the areas that need it. The great thing about electric heaters and heat pumps is that both systems can be paired with renewable energy. Solar panels, wind turbines, or switching to a green energy tariff are all ways to turn your low carbon heating into no carbon heating. So now we know the difference between heat pumps and electric heaters, the real burning question is how much do they cost? 
One of the biggest drawbacks of heat pumps is the price of installation. Air source heat pumps are the most affordable option of the two, although still expensive, with costs averaging between seven and 14,000 pounds. Whereas ground source heat pumps could set you back between 15 and 35,000 pounds. Not a decision to be taken lightly, I'm sure you'd agree. Before making such a costly commitment, you'll need to arrange a survey of your home. This will tell you which type of heat pump is most suitable and if there's any retrofitting required. The older your home or existing heating system, the more work is needed. This could be anything from insulating your loft, switching to a three-phase supply or upgrading your radiators. An MCS certified installer will be honest with you about what work needs to be done and whether the pros outweigh the cons. With electric heating, installation costs are far more accessible. Typically, it costs between 400 to 800 pounds to remove a gas boiler system. Add that to installer fees and a water heater and you're looking at about 4,000 to 6,000 pounds in total for an electric heating system. Compare that to heat pumps and installation is much more affordable and less intrusive to your property. You don't have to dig up your entire garden or invest in extensive retrofitting to accommodate this kind of system. Now, let's say you've taken the plunge and installed heat pumps in your home. How much does it cost to maintain them? The average lifespan of a heat pump is anywhere between 10 and 25 years with a yearly service needed to keep everything in check. This could set you back about 150 pounds per visit, and that's not accounting for inflation or any price changes in the future. That kind of money adds up. Maintenance costs for ground source heat pumps are higher too, and air source heat pumps require a bit more care and attention, with regular cleaning being a necessity to remove any dirt and debris. Electric radiators also last between 10 and 15 years, with one key difference. Electric heating requires zero maintenance. With no moving parts, there's not a lot that can go wrong. A light dusting now and then is more than enough to keep them in tip-top condition. With no annual call-out cost, they are an affordable plug-and-go solution. Next up, let's take a look at running costs. In theory, heat pumps should be cheaper to run since they take up to 75% of energy from the environment. However, heat pumps are only as effective as your levels of insulation plus the indoor system they're paired with. If you live in a new build with modern radiators, you could see a reduction in running costs. And with superior control options like smart thermostats, there's more clarity and control over your energy usage. However, if you live in a high ceiling period property with 20 year old radiators, your heat pumps will use a lot more electricity to heat your home. In fact, it could cost 40% more than a traditional gas boiler to run if your home is poorly insulated. For electric heating, it's no secret that electricity currently costs more than gas per kilowatt hour. But modern electric heaters are designed with this in mind. Packed full of smart energy saving features such as Wi-Fi control, 24 seven programming and open window detection. Electric heating comes primed to help you reduce your energy usage and save on costs. Plus, heaters that emit radiant warmth benefit from long lasting heat even after switch off. You might even find infrared panels or ceramic electric radiators only have to work at a third of their full wattage to produce the same effects as other heaters. So with all that said and done, heat pumps can be a worthy investment as long as you have the space and the means to install them. But for those of us looking for something more affordable and efficient, electric heating is the way to go. Now I'll leave the question up to you. Which system do you prefer? We'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And for all things electric heating, hit the subscribe button and be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.